Hi, welcome to the Virtual Cabinet Hot Folder video. The Hot Folder was introduced in version 2.4.3 and provides an easy method for getting files into your Virtual Cabinet system. It can be seen on your desktop. You have an icon here, so Virtual Cabinet Hot Folder. You also, it also is shown in the Favorites area of Windows Explorer. It runs in the System tray, and if you wish, you can either have a hot drop area that will always show on your screen. So if you've got another program open, you can put the, this in an area of convenience for yourself. Okay, so what is the hot folder and what does it do? Okay, so the hot folder allows you to drag and drop files, and move files into an area that automatically gets saved into the virtual cabinet system. Let's have a look at it. I can drag and drop a file onto the hot folder and the first time I use it, I'm prompted with this question. I can either send a document to my intray. I can send to another user or group intray within Virtual Cabinet. Or I can be prompted with the indexing window to file the document accordingly. If I leave this box ticked, I will always be asked this question. However, if I untick it, I can choose to always send to my intray and skip this step out. So that's what we're going to do. You then get confirmation at the bottom of the screen that the file has been sent and the document is then placed in your intray. Now from here, you can always drag and drop multiple files if you want, and here I'll drag two. And you then get confirmation that two files have been sent. You can also drag and drop or process entire folders of files. In this example, my folder had four files and that those four files will be saved into the system. You also have this area in the Windows Explorer. The main use of that area is when you're inside a file. So if I open up this PDF file, which obviously we don't have an add-in for in Virtual Cabinet, but if this PDF file was viewable online or you're working on it, you can now go File, Save As. Within Windows Explorer, you can then pick your hot folder and click save because the file is open we can't move it so the hot folder warns you that because the file is open by another program do you want to send a copy you can tick to never ask me that again if you click ok the copy will then go to your intray I close my file down the copy is left in here because we had it open and we might have still been working on it if i drag and drop that file over to my hot drop area just to prove you get an extra question because you're not dragging and dropping it to another folder per se you will be prompted to say do you like to move or copy the files when you're using this feature i'm going to choose move and not to always ask so that it mimics the same functionality as the rest of the hot folder okay so that's the hot folder functionality system that runs down the bottom here in the system tray you get some preferences, please refer to the documentation for that. But you do get a chance to reset things if you don't like the way that it's remembered something that you've done. What you can also do as well is if the system is stopped, so if for some reason the uh, hot folder stopped and you quit, you click OK to this message. If you do happen to put something else into the, in, into the hot folder, so for example, if I put that file in, Nothing will happen because the hot folder is not running. When you reboot your PC, that file will be processed. Or if you start the hot folder again from within Virtual Cabinet, the system will recognize that a new file has hit the hot folder since it was last run. And what would you like to do with it? Now, if I hit send files, it's going to process it like I just dragged and dropped it. So I'll send it to my intray. Or if I hit manage files, I get this little queue or this list of files that um, show that the hot folder still needs a resolution for. So if I choose this, I can choose send, I can open the file from there, or I can move it, or even delete it. So in this case, I'm going to say send, and the document gets sent, and I've got nothing left in my list. So please refer to for more information to our online documentation. That's the end of the video.